You mentioned the sunrise beautiful this morning as well from many of our cameras. This is the one we showed you a little bit earlier, but from all locations, even out west, we uh, are still seeing some clouds hang with us. And as the sun tries to peek in between those clouds as it comes up this morning, it is making for pretty nice conditions. I do expect that clouds will stay with us for much of the day. 60s and 70s is how we start the morning. Notice it's a little bit cooler here in the parts of northwest Indiana, and this is where some patchy fog has been developing. We are concerned about visibility hampering your travel early this morning morning. If you are heading out early, just know that you will need to allow a little bit of extra time and be cautious as you're traveling, especially Interstate 65 or 80, 94 as well. There's going to be some problems here with some visibility. Otherwise, though, that's really the only concern in the short term for our forecast. The clouds will come and go. We'll call it partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, depending on what time of day it is. I think more clouds in the early part of the day. I couldn't rule out a stray sprinkle or a shower early this morning, but as the day wears on, that chance or that window of opportunity is really going to diminish. Overall, I think the rain chances today are on the smaller side, but I don't want you to be caught off guard by maybe a little shower that's going to come down this morning. Northeast winds anywhere from 10 to maybe 20 miles per hour, and they will get breezier and gustier as the day wears on. Now they are calm now, but as they pick up during the afternoon, first it's going to keep our temperatures cooler. Mid 70s, how's that for daytime highs after it was 100 degrees a couple of days ago? It's also going to be very breezy, and it's driven by the heating of the day. So as the atmosphere gets moving during the daytime, the winds will pick up maybe gusting at times 25 to 30 miles per hour and then as the atmosphere cools down at night it settles and then we pick it back up for tomorrow. So a little bit on the breezy side. I'm mentioning this because if you are headed to the lakefront because after all it is one of the final weekends of the summer uh, in Chicago and the lakefront maybe a little bit uh, the waves are going to be a little rambunctious this afternoon especially and then tomorrow uh, into tomorrow as well. A little bit more sunshine for tomorrow so that's helpful but it doesn't really help our temperatures very much because because the northeast wind is what's dominating our forecast. By the time we get into next week, though, we will start to see the temperatures return to a little closer to average. This is pretty much where we should be 80 to 82 for Monday and Tuesday, much warmer by Friday of next week.